Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and this is an updated video of the BIOS for the Gigabyte Z690 Aorus Elite AX motherboard. Now, Gigabyte in this latest version of which is F29 has updated the UI. The UI update originally came in F27, but I wanted to um, wait a little bit longer to see if they came out with any uh, fixes or anything before doing this. And since they put in uh, some potential UEF failures of with logo fail, um, UEF, I should say UEFI failure or vulnerabilities with logo fail, I now have updated to the F29 BIOS and this is the new UI. So if you're looking at the old UI, um, that is in a prior video, so you can go take a look at that. Otherwise, you have to update and go to this. So there is, this is the basic page, right? You have kind of your motherboard information here. Um, you have your frequency, your memory frequency, your smart fan. So if you want to do this, you click on it, you can get into your smart curves. Um, you got Q flash. So if you need to um, flash the BIOS, this is where you go for that. You get, um, and that's what it kind of looks like. Then you have your speed information. This is for your memory modules, which I think are two and four are populated here. And then you have your speed setup. If you want to jump into this, this is a little bit more with your um, uh, memory, et cetera, with that. So you can see 5200 is the XMP profile, which we'll switch to. You have a memory boost mode. You have, perf which here, let's see. Normal, fast, um, and slow. You got easy mode or advanced mode, your preferred mode. You got resizable bar. You have your uh, CMS support. And then you have fast boot. And then you have memory channel detection message. Then over here in your DRAM status, you do have which modules are populated. The mouse does seem slow. And I, I think it's just the Logitech mouse I'm using. That's what this computer, so don't take anything away from that. You have um, XMP profile, as you see here's one, you can see that is set, and high bandwidth, low bandwidth. You got your help, you know, your language, low default, save and exit, favorites, and then your search. So now that I've switched that, let's jump into the interesting stuff, which is um, <laughs> advanced mode. So with advanced mode, um, you have your CPU um, upgrade, which is default and you get your base clock you have your enchanted multi-core performance um, and you'll notice at the bottom as i flip through these that you will see information at the bottom of what it is so as i click on each of these feel free to pause the video and you can actually read what it's all about i'm going to kind of just show where things are and uh so I don't make this video longer than what it needs to be. If you have if you have questions, leave in the comments, and either I or somebody else hopefully will get back to you and be able to help you out on your question. But you you know you have your efficiency core clock ratio, your max uh, ring ratio, min ring ratio, IGP ratio, and then your advanced CPU settings. And here you can go through all the fun stuff of your you know <laughs> advanced CPU hyper threading you know, thresholds, uh, speed shift, CPU uh, th thermal monitoring, you know, th they have uh, everything here. It is energy efficient turbo, turbo mode technology, right? CPU, you know, frequency, uh, TVB, you know, your voltage re uh, reduction. Uh, they got everything here. Uh, they got Intel dynamic tuning technology, which is disabled, I guess, here. And then you have your AVX settings and auto. And then you have your active turbo core ratios. Then you have, oh wow, there's even more. And they left spaces, so <laughs> if you get down to the bottom, there's a scroll bar right here off to the side. Uh, advanced turbo ratios, number uh, CPU cores enabling, your number of P cores and your E cores, your performance cores and then your efficient cores. You know, some people will disable this to get a little bit of extra performance on gaming so it doesn't jump over to your uh, E cores. Now, what, there might be, what is it, A um, performance optimizations, APO, 
um, Intel APO or something is coming out I think for 12th gen and 13th gen it was just on 14th gen but again that's um, a little piece of software that's not in BIOS C-state controls turbo power limits and turbo uh, per core limit control some of these don't have very good descriptions they're just unless that's what they are so that is that one that's your all your well I shouldn't say all your tweaking stuff because we go back then we get into the DDR5 stuff you get into your advanced memory settings and you can go down into this right the speed information and setup information was kind of what the first page memory timings here memory tooting settings um, and I'm just gonna skip out of there if you want to jump into there uh, feel free I am not going to <laughs> go through all of them that'll make the video longer unless somebody wants to go through all those timings here but then you also have V core voltage mode V um, you have CPU V core dynamic V core block um, Block adaptive voltage, CPU graphics voltage, CPU C ring, <laughs> or CPU ring voltage, CPU ring offset voltage. You got everything for the overclockers and the tweakers desire here. You got you know internal um, L um, LT atoms and everything there. Internal VCCSA. You got everything. Um, here, you know, with your voltage controls and what you can do, you even have your advanced voltage settings. So, you know, your ring voltage and all this other stuff. Uh, here, you have your CPU internal um, AC DC load line. So, and your, your V core load line calibration and your current protection. Now, this is my kid's computer. I'm not going to be tweaking this um, as you know too much, right? You have enabled, disabled. I'm just going to leave it default there. Go back out to this main page. DRAM, whoops, DRAM voltage controls, and then DDR voltage controls here. So that is everything you are here in the tweaker part. I mean, you can tweak to your heart's content <laughs> and feel free, right? If that's what you do and you got a K CPU, definitely do that. I think this is a um, 12600K. Um, at the time, I don't think there was much of a price difference when I got this for them, but maybe I'll, you know, if one of them wants to start tweaking one of my kids, I can start walking them through that. But let's go into platform power management. Here you go with power management um, and everything you want to do. Hey, you want, the, if the AC goes back on, what do you want? You know, all that fun stuff here. And then your IO ports, you can see, uh, an, Initial display output PCS slot one It's defaulted now. This does not have a graphics card. So it'll just go to internal graphics and then from there um, Right everything is I'll put it from that so you got your Speed right disabled and then you have uh, your, You know your aperture size your PCI um, Bifurcation support that's on auto um, most of you people probably won't use that, I, I don't think, but you may, um, and that's where it is. Onboard land control, audio controller, and then above four uh, gig decoding and above um, four gig MMIO BIOS assignments, that's enabled. Those two are grayed out. I'm guessing because resizable bar is set, that is why. Um, GNA that is enabled that was actually added here in F29 BIOS according to the notes so was the speed write disabled that was also added in this F29 BIOS so um, if you're looking for those you're gonna have to get the F29 BIOS for that which was released in December so about a month ago um, you have your app download and install configuration enabled uh, that action might disable. <laughs> uh, let's see, USB configuration. Installing the apps, I don't get it. Like that allows you to go like the Windows Store and download the apps that are needed when you connect to the internet. Um, I think it's stupid, but whatever. Um, here you go with the USB configurations and kind of what you can do there. You have your network stack, which is disabled. Um, that's your network stack configuration that doesn't actually disable your network um, 
at all. So NVMe configuration. Oh, come on. There we go. Samsung 980 Pro is in here, one terabyte. And you can see if you jump into it, you can see all the information about this. You can test it. SATA configuration. Here's everything with the SATA controllers. Notice that there's no SATA controllers plugged in, so this is pretty much pointless. But if you have SATA, you have, what, seven, eight, seven SATA controls, I guess it has. And then your VWN setup. And this is enable, disable. That was the VWM controller. You can see the 2.5 gig NIC here and everything in there. And what's what we got? So let's jump over to system information. You got F29 BIOS, and you can see it was the bill, BIOS date is 1214. It, on the site, it was released uh, December 22nd. So there's that. You can see the time plug-in devices, you can see the only thing installed there is the NVMe um, drive. Then you have Q-Flash here too. And then we jump one over, we got boot. This is our boot menu. So if you're having problems here, right? Windows boot device, fast boot is disabled, mouse speed is 1x. Oh, I guess here's where you can switch the mouse speed. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know how it affects Windows and this isn't the computer I use. It's my kid's computer. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with that um, until they say they need something adjusted. So uh, you got your secure boot here and this is just all secure boot stuff. Yay, Microsoft. Uh, <laughs> I just, you know, it's Microsoft requiring all this stuff for Windows 11. It's just kind of whatever. I will leave it at that. Uh, that's a different video. <laughs> Provider operating mode is there. Uh, and yes, yeah, so you can show the logo, security options, stuff like that. So let's see here. And we got save and exit. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, that's it at the bottom corner here. And we'll go back to just easy mode. Well, whoops. Actually, we don't go to easy mode. We want to be in advanced mode still. But Smart Fan, Q Flash, and Help and Search are all down here in the advanced mode. So I wanted to make sure you got that. You also have some CPU, memory frequency, and voltage information there. Let's go back to easy mode. And, you know, when I save this and reboot, that I should get the 5200 um, uh, mega transfers per second um, set for the memory frequency. And everything, you can see CPU temp does a pretty good job cooling. This is just an air cooler on this guy. So with that, if you have any questions about this AORUS Gigabyte Z690, or what is it, Gigabyte Z690 AORUS Elite AX motherboard, or anything in the BIOS, feel free to leave it in the comments uh, below. Um, this is, you know, updated BIOS here. And uh, we'll go from there if you have any questions. I want to thank you so much for watching gray overload and helping this channel grow i really appreciate it don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the bell icon it really does help out the channel and until next time god bless